Hi everyone, my name is Erin and I'm going to be talking about anxiety in young people today. So just so you know, I'm a youth worker here in Blanchardstown and I work with 13 to 18 year olds so I know just a little bit about anxiety in young people and I also suffer with anxiety myself. So I take special. This year one in four of us will have an issue with our mental health and for young people it is one in ten so it's quite a lot for young people as well so we really need to look after them. There's a huge amount of pressure for young people nowadays especially because of social media so we really need to make sure that we build up young people's self-esteem and their confidence so they don't so they don't feel like that they're not enough. They have to realize they are enough in who they are and they don't need to get acceptance from Instagram or Facebook or the amount of likes you get. So from a young age, it's really important for us to talk about emotions and why they come up, come up and what we can do to look after those emotions. When you feel like um, your child has overwhelming emotions, it's really important that you talk to them about those emotions and try and figure out where they're coming from and break down where they Help them break down how they're feeling. Don't ever dismiss how they're feeling and always let them know that you are there to support them and everything will be okay. So when your child is calm and not feeling these overwhelming feelings, that's a good time to talk. So you can break it down, ask them where they're feeling the feeling in their body, what does it feel like. Um, you don't need to solve the problem for your child. Uh, what, you, what you're trying to do is you're, you're breaking down the problem into steps, um, you're identifying solutions, and then you're picking a Okay, I'm just going to read my sentence I wrote out for you because I can't get it out without making the balls of it. Um, helping your young person... Oh, once again. Helping your child understand where the feeling came from will help reduce the overwhelming nature of the feeling. So a few symptoms of anxiety in a young person would be the constant need for everything to be perfect. They could be really irritable, moody, uh, feeling sick. Um, the most important part, I think, as a parent as well, is that we really need to be a good role model. Um, so we need to practice self-care for ourselves, looking after ourselves. So being a good role model includes being positive, not constantly seeing the negative in things, see the positive in things. Back to my list here. Um, staying calm in stressful situations. If you're a pure stress bucket and something goes wrong and like you're, you know you're not coping with it, try and not do that around your child because they will pick up on all those emotions and learn them from you. So to summarize, I suppose what I said, start young talking about emotions and where they come up and how to deal with them. Give them the language that they need. And if you're doing that yourself and open about feelings and how to deal with them, they will learn from you. So try and be a good role model when it comes to that. If they're a teenager, make sure they're following positive influences on Instagram and Facebook and not constantly following bloggers who are portraying this perfect life that isn't real. It will cause stress. And finally, I'm going to post a picture of a really, really good book. It's for 9 to 13 year olds and it's called Outsmart and Worry. It's supposed to be brilliant for combating anxiety in young people. Also, a couple of accounts to follow that will help you learn about young people and anxiety. And my account is called Me F and Nerves, and it's all about my journey with anxiety. So give it a follow if you're interested. I'm on Facebook too, and I will be there for Wellness of Women Day. I'm so looking forward to it, and I really, really want to talk to other people about all this stuff. So 
please come and chat to me on the day. Thanks everyone. Bye. I forgot to mention that Claude de Cahill will be on tomorrow talking about childhood and mental health. Bye!